Hi, my name is Donna and I'm with Wakanda Area Library. And today I will be doing a quick introduction to all of the databases that we have to help you do genealogical and local history searches. Whether you are a complete newcomer or a seasoned researcher, we have information and help available for you. All of the sites that I will show you today are remotely accessible, so you won't need to physically come into the library or wait until we are open. All you need is a library card and an internet connection. Let's get started. From the main page, uh, walklib.org, you want to click on our collection. From the drop down box, go to research. The first database on the list is ancestry.com. In the past, the service was just available for in library use only, but due to the building being closed, remote access is available. When you click on the link, um, it will prompt you for, to put in your library card number. Um, after the first time, it will remember you and uh, log you right in. The main page offers a lot of quick links to get you started, such as a basic search. Uh, down below, links to public records, birth, death, and marriage, and a list of census years. If you are a first-time user, click on the Learning Center to see videos that will teach you where to start and how to do different searches, depending on what your focus is. For example, military records from the Civil War are finding your Swedish ancestors. Here we go right here. The library version of Ancestry is an excellent source uh, for finding data or clues as to where you should continue your searches. If you have ever thought of investing in the full version, this is a good opportunity to use the service for free through the library. The next database is the Digital Public Library of America. This database is an aggregate of libraries, museums, archives, and cultural organizations across the country and provides you a chance to search through thousands of old photos, videos, and audio clips. Let's move on to Family Search. If you are new to this database, they do require that you create a free account. Once you've done that, you can begin your search, save the data that you find, build photo memories, and construct a graphical family tree. Family Search has a wealth of information for beginning and continuing your genealogical searches. From the Help menu, you can find videos on how to get started or go to the Help Center to find information on a particular topic. The next database is Find a Grave. This is a free website that is a type of wiki for grave markers and obituary information. You can do a search for a picture of someone's grave, or you can add a photo and information to contribute to other searches. Moving on to the next database is Heritage Quest. You will notice that it looks a lot like Ancestry. They, they power Heritage Quest and share records, but they do not own it. Heritage Quest has some unique tools such as Freedman's Bank records and um, military records dating back to the Revolutionary War. If you are new to the database, make sure that you check out research aids at the top to see helpful videos on how to get started. Continuing on, we see links from the State of Illinois Digital Archives and um, State Illinois State Archives, uh, along with public records. These two databases, the Illinois Digital Archives and the Illinois State Archives, um, are services for free from the Illinois State Library and CyberDrive Illinois. I highly encourage you to take a look at all of the services they provide for free to Illinois residents. The last few resource links that I want to show you are for the Lake County Genealogical Society, and down here at the bottom, um, the Wakanda Township Historical Society. Both of these organizations can help with your genealogical and local history searches. They have many online archives available for browsing, but can also be contacted for specific search help. The last stop we will make in this video tour is our own library's genealogy group's website. Um, right here, Wakanda Area Library Genealogy Interest Group. From here, you can see search tips, other tutorial videos, and contact information. The useful links section has a long list of resources available. So for example, if you're looking for something specific 
like Polish research or uh, German genealogy, you can find it here in our external links. If you have any questions about this video or need help with your genealogical or local history search, please let us know by sending us an email um, at our contacts listed here. We are also available at genealogyhelp at walklib.org. Or you can contact us um, by clicking on ask us a question to live chat, text, or email. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.